and welcome back to another daily grind video so uh today is sunday so the beginning of the week so our weekly rewards have reset um generally what i do at the beginning of the week um i don't really worry too much about the weekly wins um i only kind of worry about that towards the end of the week um <clears throat> if i do well obviously i'm getting wins and whatnot and i don't have to worry about it uh but we got two two challenges and what i generally do is i try to re-rule the ones that are the colors i like like for example uh white and black are my two favorite colors and those are my best decks um i am not very good with blue or green um um <clears throat> so i'm probably gonna re-roll the white blue one and see there we go okay so uh we have a 750 challenge so it's 750 coin challenge which is great we can aim towards getting it done but the beauty of this is because we don't have a third challenge sitting there we technically don't have to finish this one today we can save it for tomorrow or because it's one of those where it just kind of happens we could just play normally and try to get a couple wins and this will eventually happen so i'm gonna stay away from black and red again you don't have to do that. Um, uh, I only do this uh, because I kind of want to try to re-roll to get an extra 250 coin. But <clears throat> it is very annoying uh, to be like, oh, I can't play these certain colors because of, you know, the challenges or whatever. Um, keeps me away from playing draft a lot. So if you like playing draft, don't follow this, what I do. Just play draft and um, do some challenges or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, because... Uh, Imagine if I drafted and I played a I drafted a black red deck and I'm like, oh wait, I can't do any of these because you know challenges, right? So it's one of those where like I do this because I play a lot of con constructed and I have different colors of different decks, so I can be like, okay, well I can't play black or red today, so I'm gonna go play one of the other three colors. Or if I only have one color, like I know I say I'm not great with blue or green but i do have a blue deck i do have a green deck so if i personally want to <laughs> put myself in that position um <clears throat> i can you know uh, but again only if you really want to save that additional or try to gain an, an additional 250 gold um in a week's worth i think i get it maybe once once a week i get that where um because i didn't do the challenges i earned an additional 250 gold so it does add up over time, you know, uh, additional packs and all that stuff, or getting to do a quick draft a lot sooner, <clears throat> but not recommended. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be playing Adeline. Uh, where's that? There we go. We're going to be playing Adeline Mono White. And you know what? I Why? Why? Oh, why? Sorry, I'm going to go off on a weird tangent right now, but card sleeves. I accidentally... Well, well, I think it didn't do it. Okay, I think it did it. Did it change it? I don't know. I don't know why the sleeves like I accidentally pressed set as default. Another one. There you go. Cool. We're playing out of line. Um, <clears throat> and it, it just like it. I don't know why I did that. Anyways, um, if you like my content or you like you're liking this video, you know, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. You know, um, I'm getting close to 100 uh, subscribers, which I didn't think this would happen. Uh, I originally just made this channel to show my friends, hey, look, magic. <laughs> um, and it really did evolve into what I'm doing now with the whole grinding and all that stuff. So, And for you who are subscribed, thank you. Um, yeah, um, three lands. All right, we'll keep it. We'll keep, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. It's not bad. Yeah, if you're here to learn how to play magic... <laughs> You, you you did come to a place. That's a decision made. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I'll definitely try to help as much as possible to, to show you how I grind and do all that. Like, I grew up playing um, RPGs a lot, so trying to find, like, the most convenient way of doing things has kind of been my thing. Um, being great at games? Mm, mm -mm. You know. Um, I say I'm decent. Um, definitely no... Um, professional i don't think i would be able to get 
paid to uh, do what I do. <clears throat> but it'd be nice, right? We're gonna end it. We're gonna flash in the virtue of loyalty. Druid. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna throw in that. Boom. All right. <clears throat> we're gonna play this. We're gonna play the um is this soldier. I was thinking about doing this, but nah, Adelaide's better. Boom. Swing training. Sick. <clears throat> Yeah, because then next turn. Okay. Um, Adeline will trigger the whole, whole full initiate. And if I do have two counters, I could remove the two counters and. All right, there is a win. Cool. So we didn't destroy any creatures, which is our main challenge. But I'm really just aiming for wins right now. You know. Yeah. Um, and like I always say. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I'll link up my video in the description below. Um, four wins is kind of where you want to aim for. Um, anything above that is extra, but four wins is probably what you want to aim for and on a week daily basis. But not super necessary. Like if you like right now, I could just be like, okay, I did my part. I can just leave, right? Like, there's no, I'm not really working towards anything except for maybe getting an additional what. 300 gold if i get the already earned 250 gold right with this one win any additional wins i'm getting an additional whatever right or getting a challenge done so it's just kind of like measuring it out that way right like my i don't need to finish a challenge today because i have an extra slot so tomorrow i'll get an additional one you know the only reason you want to aim for a challenge every day is specifically to make sure because if you have three challenges sitting there and you don't do any of them they're just going to sit there you're losing out on gold and experience from new challenges um this yeah no i need to free more than that um i yeah i kind of have to do this <clears throat> um let's see they are I mean, if i have removal i would but uh, i really don't um, yeah, I'm just gonna throw this out there. Whatever. Start swinging away. Like, I wish I had, um. Yep. You wanna swing? Bitch. Um, yeah, we're just gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna go crazy here. Um, next turn. I do have Giant Killer, so I might save that for Giant Five. Now, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Damn, shit. What? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. No. I wouldn't have won. <clears throat> I'm gonna save this though. And turn. That's fine. ATB. Let's see what they get. Hopefully, nothing great. <coughs> so I'm gonna play that. Okay. Okay. Okay to attackers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to this oof um I guess I can right yeah that's probably the better play They only have three blockers, so one, two, three. They take six. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, I mean, I... Yeah. 
GG's. Victory! Yeah, when again, when it comes to Atal, you have to be super aggressive. That's what makes this deck uh, really good against uh, that deck. But it doesn't work all the time. If, if, if I didn't have the <clears throat> those um, anthems, uh, it would have been very difficult for me. Um, again, I'm going to play one more match, but not necessary. I mean, I already got my two, I already got two wins, right? I, I don't need to finish a challenge. I could just move on. So if, like, this is a perfect example of a, of a day where you're like, let me reroll. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I'm just maybe going to get a win or, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go do something else, right? Like it, it really depends on how much time you want to invest in a day. Like I always promote, you know, there's like magic's great. Arena's cool, but you know, everyone has a life. Everyone has, uh, things they got to do for the day, uh, stuff like that. So, you know, if you're like, I don't really have time to sit down and play magic. Um, re-roll, re-roll challenge. Um, if you have like 10 minutes, uh, there's decks, uh, you know, just build spell decks. Uh, I explain it in my video. Um, uh, I'll keep this. Um, so you can, um, hello. <laughs> nice. Um, probably have, they probably have push. Which sucks, but that is what it is. Oh, they don't. All right. Good for us. Probably not for long. Ooh, nice. Um, well, that's it for us. We're, we may be dead. Children on the field is just brutal. That is not a shielded. Against <laughs> creature at least toughness. Creatures your opponent's control gets for one turn. And your opponent controls one creature sacrifice. Oh, no, I can do. Um, we're gonna do this. Gonna land up in this bitch. And then, I'm gonna land. I'm gonna play this. Guess I'll swing. No. Until end step, right? It's on control. The beginning of the next end step, yeah. I guess so. Want to scry? Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably do the negative one on the Royal Warhound. There's Shieldred. Hey, girl. Really cool, anyway. Yeah. It's fine. Fine by me. Uh, we're gonna do this. Um, we're gonna do Into the Trenches. Let's swing. Blink the shouldered. Probably just Adeline, recruitment officer. Good 
because next turn we'll have. Yeah, I could play the circle of loyalty. Hitmaster. Okay. Fair. And then you kill them. Fair enough. Um, I could get rid of that. It's a swing. And swing. What you got? What you got? Shows it again. Yeah. Oh, that one? Okay, hold on. Um. Play this. And then we'll move up with power three or greater. Seven. Let's see. Okay. Hopefully nothing good. Okay. Liliana. Eh, okay. <clears throat> Doesn't affect us now. So that's good. Those who get in my way tend to regret it. Mm, okay. Well, let's draw. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um. Plus one for so indestructible. Well, if I swing, I think that's game. If I swing, oh wow! There, two, three, four, five. Six. Mm, not quite. <laughs> Should do trade these. She stays alive. That's fine. And then I'll play this. Fine. So now they're in a little position where I mean Lily could minus a sack of creature. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Please go around her, okay. Yeah, that Brixian. Nice. Okay. That's annoying. Um. Nice. <laughs> well. Oh. Really? I mean, sure. I'll take the win, but you kind of stalled me. I. I. I I have no way of. Oh wait, never mind. This makes a, a three three. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes my opponents know more than I do. <laughs> I'm I'm glad for that. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I I forgot that Adeline creates a token. That'll be a three three. So that would have been damage um or lethal um cool well we did it i'm still uh, 20 minutes you know i'm i'm good this is, again like i didn't have to win it but because i have time and i, I kind of want to get some more gold you know i'm almost at 10 i usually once i hit 10 grand um oh sorry not 10 grand um 
what was it? Um, I twelve grand. If I hit tw- when I hit twelve grand, um, I kind of want about two thousand gold for when um they do the 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 store, the daily, the weekly or the daily whatever deals or whatever sometimes they give out gems for 1500 gold so i want to be able to have that much and then they have uh basically free 500 gold for basically you spend 50 and they give you 550 so it's like <clears throat> you just get it for free kind of thing so um as long as you have 50 gold uh so i kind of want to i like to save around 2000 so when i hit 12000 it's when i'm like oh i'll you know I'll buy, I'll get my 10 packs. And the reason why I go 10 packs instead of, uh, oh, sorry. The reason why I go 10 packs over uh, over doing, like, drafts and stuff, because a lot of people say, oh, do drafts. You build a collection and get gems, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't really care for gems all that much unless it's for the, um, what is it called? The, the thingy? The Mastery Pass. Sorry, yeah. Um, so... When push comes to shove, I do, but I haven't really done any drafts spent through coin because I have so many, I have a few draft tokens set up. So I've luckily I've done well uh, during my drafts with my drafts tokens that I haven't really needed to use gold. So, you know, uh, I know some people might not be in that position where I have been, you know, like it's not like I'm going seven and no, but like, well, like you know, five, you know, four wins or something, you know, I'm getting, <clears throat> I'm getting a good amount of gems back that I'm, I'm able to cover, you know, the mastery pass. So, yeah, so I've been lucky that route. So I use my gems or my gold to buy packs. So, cause, um, just the, uh, rare, what is it called? I forget what it's called where they make sure you don't get, um, a fifth copy unless you have, you're buying packs and you have every single rare mythic, you know, uh, kind of thing. So, yeah, no, it's it's uh, that's kind of what I do. And then you get the gold pack once you get the uh, tenth uh, pack. So, it also helps with collections, especially for rares and mythics. So there you go. Again, um, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like. If you enjoy my content overall, please subscribe. Leave me in the comments below if this is helpful for you. Um, let me know if. You know, you have different strategies. Um, anything. Just tell me that I smell funny. I don't know. And uh, I'll catch everyone next time. Bye-bye.